This is the part three of the video series where I explain the OSI model in brief and explain the preference protocols and how they are attacked. Today we're going to cover the part three of this video series where we explain the different protocols at transport and session layer with two examples of attack being carried out at each layer. Now the PDU or the protocol data unit at each layer is different. So for layer four transport layer, it's in datagrams or segments. And for session layer, it's data. The protocols that are being most used in transport layer are UDP, TCP, ATP, and micro transmission protocol. In transport layer, the two most common type of attacks are TCP SYN flood attack and UDP flood attack. I've covered these topics in a detailed previous video, hence I shall brief on these topics for now and I will link the tag to it here. Do check out these videos. TCP sync flood attack. To understand how this works, one needs to have an understanding of TCP three-way handshake. In this, an adversary would share a huge volume of TCP sync requests. The target server responds with a TCP SYNAC packet and will wait for an acknowledgement of its SYNAC packet for X amount of time. Before the connection is called timed out, another SYNC packet will arrive. This leaves an increasingly large number of connections half open. Eventually, the server's connection overflows and the tables gets filled up. Service to legitimate clients will be denied at this point of time, leading to a denial of service attack. UDP flood attack. In this, the bad actor shares a high volume of spoofed UDP packets, which are specially crafted. During this type of DDoS attack, an attacker will generally not use their own real IP address, but will instead spoof the resource IP address of the UDP packets. The target resources can quickly be exhausted with a large number of UDP packets that are received, resulting in a denial of service to normal traffic. As mentioned before, I've made a separate video on mitigation techniques that can be taken to mitigate the attacks of TCP and UDP. So do check out that video in the cards to know more. Now the protocols that are used in session layer are PPP, that is point-to-point -point protocol, PPTP, which is point-to-point -point tunneling protocol, RPCP, that is remote procedural call protocol, and RTCP, that is real-time transport control protocol. For the sake of this video, we'll keep it limited to just two types of attack at this layer. This comes under the broader term of MITM or man in the middle attack and the two attacks that we are going to explain today are session hijacking and SSL stripping. Let's start with the first one, session hijacking. To begin with the definition first, so session hijacking is a technique used by hackers to gain access to a target computers or online accounts. In a session hijacking attack, a hacker takes control of a user's browsing session to gain access to their personal information and passwords. Now let's understand how a session hijacking works theoretically. Now for the sake of this example, uh, these attacks that I'm going to explain is also known as session sidejacking. So in this attack, the attacker does packet sniffing and reads the network traffic between the victim's machine and the server to steal the session cookie. It usually follows these steps. First, the victim logs on to the server and then starts communication, which is the innocent user in our case. The attacker uses a packet sniffer and reads the network traffic between the user's computer and the server. The attacker then steals the session cookie. Now the attacker uses the same session cookie to log on to the server and impersonate as the victim. Now this also means that a session hijacking can give hackers access to confidential information, including your passwords, credit card numbers, le leading to an identity theft or even a financial fraud. Next attack in session layer, SSL striping. 
beginning with the definition first that is SSL striping attacks also known as SSL downgrade or HTTP downgrade attacks are a type of cyber attack in which hackers downgrade a web connection from more secure HTTPS to less secure HTTP. In this attack the client will try to access the website and the recipient of the request is the attacker. Attacker will intervene and act as a default gateway for client and will share this packet with the server. At this point to be noted is that the attacker's machine and the server will have an encrypted SSL connection. Remember that. The web server now responds to the request which originally should go to the client but goes to the attacker with an HTTPS URL. Now the attacker will use their skills to downgrade the HTTPS to an HTTP and forward the same to client. The beauty of this attack is that the client machine has no idea of what's happening in the background nor has any way to confirm the authenticity of the data which has been received. Now as the SSL encryption has been stripped, anything with the that the client inputs, including the user's password, details, credit card number, etc., will all be sniffed by the attacker. Quite a dangerous attack, if you imagine. Now with this, it, we conclude the attacks and the protocols explained at layer four and layer five, which is part four of this video. Part five or the last part of this video is going to be explaining the protocols at presentation layer and application layer. Do let me know in the comments if there are any specific protocols or attacks you want me to cover at this layer. Your suggestions and comments are most welcome. Okay, now with this, we come to the end of this part four video series. Do share this video with your friends and family whom you think would benefit for by watching this. And of course, subscribe if you more want more cybersecurity related content. Also, if you would be interested to get any cybersecurity trainings and consultations, I'll leave my email address down below. Feel free to contact and I shall respond as soon as I can.